Hello guys, Brad here again with another fragrance review. Today I want to talk about a fragrance called Red Musk. This is from the Body Shop. I got this sample off of eBay. It's kind of excited about it because I don't think I've ever reviewed any of the Body Shop fragrances that I can remember. Uh, this one did come out in 2014. According to Fragrantica, it's actually a woman's fragrance, um, which kind of surprised me because I looked at the notes here and it did say top notes of pepper middle notes of cinnamon, and in the base, tobacco and musk. So I was thinking, I don't really see anything here that uh, screams feminine to my ears, but uh, it is classified aromatic spat, spicy. Inside the card, you see a picture of the bottle, and a little description here, cruelty-free musk, blended and contrasted with stimulating spices, sparkling pepper, intriguing cinnamon notes, and alluring tobacco accords. So this one, um, I tried it a little bit yesterday, now I'm wearing it today get an idea of what it really smells like as a regular uh, wearing not too bad actually I think a guy could easily pull this one off I'm not sure how it was marketed at the body shop I thought somebody said at the body shop it was actually maybe marketed towards men or unisex but uh, it definitely this one's something that guys and girls equally can pull off I think it maybe even leans a little bit masculine more than feminine because of the tobacco and the cinnamon there but uh, doesn't really remind me of anything that I can think of, um, but I do like it. Um, you know, some people say it's kind of like a lighter version of Spice Bomb. I'm not really sure if I get that comparison. Uh, Spice Bomb, I think, is sort of like a brownish, um, spicy tobacco fragrance. This one, more of a reddish uh, tobacco fragrance, I think, which I guess would explain why it's called Red Musk. Uh, to me, the cinnamon here stands out. It gives it almost like that... Uh, Remember that big red chewing gum? It kind of gives a little bit of that red cinnamon kind of a quality. Not overly sweet either. Um, tobacco, you know, a light tobacco essence in there as well. And the musk, which uh, kind of has like that laundry musk effect to it. Some people say it's similar to the white musk note used in the body shop's white musk. So, soapy clean musk with some tobacco and some spicy reddish warm uh, almost like a big red cinnamon in there it's pretty nice I don't really get pepper so much more cinnamon tobacco and like a laundry musk so if those notes sound good to you uh, check this one out and see what you think I think you might enjoy it um, the big downside here is, well, a couple of things. First of all, it has been discontinued, so you're going to be paying a hefty price point. Like if you go to eBay, I've seen 60 ml bottle is $80. Um, in some cases, even more than that. And so check around. You might be able to find a better deal. But uh, I'm not sure what the original price point was for Red Musk, but I'm sure it wasn't $80. It was probably more like $30 or something. So uh, maybe the uh, hype train for this one has passed. If you can find maybe a bottle at a yard sale or something, or if, if check around and keep trying on eBay, maybe find something under $50. Certainly would be a better bargain, but even at $80, uh, you could do worse, I think. So let's say the smell. I'm going to say 8 out of 10. Perfectly fine smell, especially for this time of year. A little bit chilly in the air. That tobacco, the spice from the cinnamon, and that clean musk in the background. Keeps it fresh and clean. Uh, not too challenging not too uh, daring or anything like that certainly not too feminine projection longevity now this is the second downside here it does seem to be difficult to pick up on uh, unless you put your nose right up to your skin so more of a close quarters scent maybe more of a, a date night fragrance but i would certainly i love to wear this one at the office and see how it goes i mean with masks on people might not even be able to smell it but um certainly work as an office setting fragrance especially in like a hospital where I work versatility I'm gonna say probably seven out of ten I could, you could wear it any time in the fall and winter I think uh, spring summer you might want to hang this one up though because uh, you know that tobacco spicy musket really screams fall and winter time to my nose uh, uniqueness I'm going to say actually 9 out of 10. One of the most unique fragrances that I've smelled lately, which is something because this isn't niche or anything. This is just like a department store body shop fragrance. And I think they did a great job of coming out with something unique with the tobacco feel to it. So if you like uh, Spice Bomb, if you like uh, Tobacco Vini and all those Tobacco Vini clone type fragrances, um, Pure Van, you know, this one would certainly 
uh, stack up well against the other ones because this is a nice spicy tobacco fragrance that uh, deserves some attention. Price point, like I said, eighty dollars for the sixty ml varies a lot because it is discontinued and there's no real real set price point. People are just gonna try to get what they can for it. So overall, for me, seven and a half out of ten, a really nice spicy, warm cinnamon tobacco musk fragrance worth checking out for men and women. Uh, so even if you're a guy and you buy it. Let your wife get a whiff and see. Maybe she'll take it off your hands without too much question asked. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I will talk to you guys later.